All right, guys. So what I want to do today <clears throat> is a setup in the daytime. Never done this before. I'm going to give this a try. Um, getting this somewhat polar aligned in the daytime. I've just set this up. Normally when I do this, I'll set it up. Then come evening, I'll use the uh, right angle polar scope. Uh, this is the Mach 2 with a 92 millimeter stowaway. If I had my 1100, which I don't have anymore, and I currently have a 1600, uh, prior to the right angle polar scope, I would use the um, Lost Bandy polar scope and then set it up that way. So let's see what I've concocted here to uh, get this set up during the day. So the reason for this is uh, next year, April 8, 2024, the total solar eclipse goes right over my house. So I won't have to travel anywhere as I have in the past seven. But weather may be, a, may be a, 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 something of, that I have to watch out for. So at the last minute, the last day or two, I may have to travel somewhere. Obviously, I know how to set up in my yard. I know where north is. It's very simple. But if I go elsewhere, I need to know how to get this set up during the day. Because let's say the evening before, there's showers and rain. Okay, so anyways, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So let's see what we're going to do. Now, my thought is using a um, compass and using these two edges to put a... Um, one by three against so that I could bring a line out away from the mount so it's less affected by the uh, compass and so one of the things I had to do is pull this now in the Mach 2 Astrophysics puts this on to attach your um, keypad but I have my own and I've done a review on how I do that but I have my own hook that I came up with system right on the tripod and so what I did is I uh, took a needle nose pliers and uh, put some uh, cloth around it and gently pulled up was able to get this thing loose and as you can see it's got some kind of a rubberized I don't know cement whatever it was they used this can easily go back in no big deal I don't use it like I said so I'm just gonna leave it out now that'll facilitate me having a flat I use these two points in, in this flat edge here in which to uh, put my board on. So here you see the board that I have. And this is a test piece because I want to go a little bit longer than what this is. But since I already had this, I was going to use this. And what I did is I took my router, came in here a little uh, thicker than, uh, went deeper than the thickness of this uh, compass thing here. So now I have a edge that this is going to set up against, like you see here. This pushes right up against here, which will keep this parallel. All these edges will be parallel and perpendicular. So this edge will be parallel to the edge. This will be perpendicular. Everything will line up with this back edge that I will put up against the mount that I talked about. Now the one disadvantage of this Mach 2 is when you put it, uh, this is in the um, uh, Eagle tripod, there's very little to clamp that board to. And there's no way, so I have to hold this in place. And um, one of my thoughts was, well what if I just drill a hole through here and then put a hole in the board and then use that as an anchor point. You can't do that because of this system here. This push-pull system to get it to azimuth to set it. Can't do that. Uh, you'll screw things up. So I'm just going to hold the board in position there. So here guys you see what I'm talking about. Using these two uh, points on the mount as I'm assuming everything is square, parallel, perpendicular to everything the way astrophysics does everything. So by pushing this board up, which is straight, I've checked it, and holding it like this, and then, let me pan over to the other edge, then you'll see how on the other end, 
I have the compass which is set in here along that edge so everything should be parallel all these edges will be parallel now what I do is I'll go over there and look at that and I've got that offset to the magnetic north I'm a little over seven degrees so I've got that set to seven degrees west this will get us close enough and then that way I can now adjust this mount and again even though I know where I'm at here I'm, I've offset this more so that I can do this if I go somewhere obviously when you initially set this up you'll go somewhere you'll see where north is you'll get this half halfway set up then you use this technique to get it further refined you know once you know what the magnetic uh, offset is then you would do this but like I said initially I just take this kind of find uh, a point along where north is magnetic you know where the north would be and get it rough then come in here and do what I'm doing here now again all mounts are different you'll have to look at your mount and see how you want to do it but now what we're going to do here is the Mach 2 in fact all their mounts have this push pull thing where you loosen one and then you turn the other one and it and it actually turns the mount in azimuth like this to get it set so this is what I'm going to use this adjustment here to get it set so I'm going to do this off camera I'm going to go ahead and loosen these up put the board up here like I previously showed and turn it until I see the compass showing properly and uh, we'll go to the next step after that here you see the compass that I'm using and you can see that I have it set to seven degrees west okay I've got that set up I've got that tightened down then over here I've got it where I want it it's pretty close and I did adjust the altitude down now this does have degree markings I'm around uh, 41 I went down a little bit just want to see how this is so but normally I would go ahead and set this real close to the altitude you have uh, but I went down about a degree I want to see how this works out and so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done here because we're going to uh, after well the next thing I want to do is level this make sure it's level east and west after I do that but what I've got here is I'm going to let the sun project on this uh, uh, baking uh, it's used for cooking uh, uh, wax paper I'm going to let the sun project back here so when I adjust this mount to see the sun where it's at to get it centered uh, that's why you see this here so let's the next thing I'm going to do is double check this if I have to I'll shim the uh, legs of the tripod so that I can get the um, uh, the level which is more important east and west okay so I've got that shimmed I'm, I'm pretty good uh, east and west as level next step is to send it to the Sun Now I do have intermittent clouds today, so this thing will keep tracking and what I've got to do now is move my altitude and azimuth knobs that you see on the mount, okay, the azimuth and your altitude here. That's how I'm going to center the sun. Okay, so it stopped there, and I'm going to wait till the sun comes out to kind of get an idea where what it looks like on the ground, because I can I can see the shadow on the ground, and uh, then we'll go from there. Then I'll use the I'll use I'll use strictly the mechanical azimuth and altitude to center the sun, and then that should be polar aligned. Well, guys, as you can see, it's almost centered. I'm surprised. Uh, I do want to bring the sun down a little bit in there's the clouds but I do want to bring the sun down a little bit more to get that uh, closer to the center and there you have it I've got it centered now the sun's not focused it's out of focus because this isn't you know, this this uh, wax paper is not at the focal plane 
but the sun is in the center of this aperture and again all I did was move the altitude and azimuth controls of the mount to get her a little tweaked in closer all right we're gonna send this to a park one And now we're going to send it back to the sun. And you can see the sun in there, and it is centered. So this board is 30 inches long. I may go a little bit longer, maybe to 3 foot, maybe 42 inches. But again, it's a 1 by 3. I'll do the same thing that I did here. Route it just a little bit deeper than the thickness of the uh, compass that you're using. Make sure you give it the offset for your location, and um, this, this worked out very well. Much easier than I thought it would. Well guys, I just sent it to Vega, and it's dead nuts right in the center of the field of view. So this setup was very good today. There you can see it right there so very happy with the result using the compass to set this thing up and I sent it to Saturn which is very low on horizon now this is through my 17.3 millimeter Delos so Again, it worked out excellent. Tracked the sun all day, and I can see that at night it goes to whatever object I send it to.